Hi, this is Mr. Bledsoe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a linear regression using the graphing calculator on Desmos.com. And it is super easy. In fact, it's even easier than using the linear regression features on your TI-84. So if you go to your uh, if you go to www.desmos.com, this is the main screen, if you just click on this big red button here that says start graphing, then it's going to take you to a blank screen, a blank graphing calculator screen. And in the upper left corner, you'll see this little drop down menu. If you click on that and if you select table, then it gives you a little X1, Y1, a little place for you to enter your data, your independent and dependent variable data that you have for whatever it is that you want to do your linear regression on. And so I'm just going to enter a few numbers in here. Um, I'm going to bring up my calculator. In the lower left corner over here, you see a little, uh, a little keyboard symbol. So I'm going to bring up my keyboard. And I'm just going to enter some numbers here for X. I'm just going to enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then for Y1, let's see, let me enter 3. Five. Notice it's plotting the, the the coordinates as I put them in, and I can move my I can move my uh, my screen over here a little bit. Bring my keyboard back up. Uh, let me see where my Y one three five six nine seven and ten. So now I have. Uh, six pairs of points here, and it's plotted them all in a little scatter plot for me. And now I would like for Desmos to uh, come up with a line of best fit a regression equation for this set of six points. So again, I go back uh, in the upper left corner to my little drop down menu, and I choose where it says expression. And what I'm going to type in here is I'm just going to type in. Let me go back to, uh, so notice down at the bottom there where the, uh, where the little keyboard feature comes up. I'm going to click on the, the button in the lower left that says ABC, and that's going to change it to a regular typewriter looking keyboard. And I'm just going to type in Y1, oh, I guess I've got to go back to the numbers to get the 1, don't I? Y1, and instead of typing in equals, I'm going to use a character called the tilde symbol, and I've got to go back to my other keyboard there the, where the alphas are and in the on the bottom row there uh, right next to the comma you'll see a little squiggly looking symbol that's called the tilde so I'm going to use y1 and then the tilde symbol and I want to type in y1 equals m x and actually I want x1 so I got to go back to m equals x1 plus b and Look at that, that was all I needed. It immediately calculated my line of best fit, my linear regression line. Notice it tells me exactly what my slope is down here at the bottom where it says parameters. My parameters are M, the slope is 1.25714. My Y intercept, the B value is 2.26667. And it has graphed my line for me, my line of best fit, my line of best fit. So notice also it gives me a uh, it gives me a correlation coefficient, 0.9109, so I have a strong positive correlation between my two variables. And notice there's also one other really cool thing that it does. Uh, right up here under the Y1 equals MX1 plus B, it says residuals, and there's a little button there that says plot. If you click on that button that says plot, it calculates your residuals for you, and it also plots your residuals for you along the horizontal axis. So that's a pretty cool feature, too, and it takes a lot longer to do that using the TI-84. So that's how easy it is. So head on over to Desmos.com and try, uh, uh, try using the Desmos.com graphing calculator to come up with a linear regression equation for some other data and you will see just how simple it is.